Hi, I'm Jordan Roybert and I'm here at the September Metals Investor Forum in Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm with Tio Dechev. She's the president and CEO of Mondoro. And Tio, for those who don't know about Mondoro, mm -hmm. first, can you give us a background just of the company, maybe share structure, cash, and the areas you're working in? Absolutely. Um, so Mondoro is an exploration and development focused company. We're focused exclusively today on the Tethian belt and the western portion of the belt, which sits in Eastern Europe in Serbia and Bulgaria. Um, we're really focused on copper and gold uh, exploration projects. Uh, we think it's a tremendously interesting opportunity, that jurisdiction, because uh, over the last five years, the metal laws have evolved to, I think, a place where finally a, a lot of foreign companies are comfortable investing in those jurisdictions for natural resources. And certainly from our point of view, we entered that region at a time when there wasn't a lot of interest. And so we were able to land a very attractive portfolio of properties uh, in a very prolific district, which is the Timuk district. Uh, and there, there is a hundred year old bore mine. And so our land package is really around that asset uh, to the south of it, where the, basically it's the southern half of the complex and as well north of one of the other operating mines, Midempec, which is, uh, we have one more project just north of there. So as a company, uh, I think it's a really interesting opportunity if you're interested in copper and gold, that's our focus. We're in a tremendously valuable land package in a prolific mining district, that's also very unique. Uh, our capital structure is, is, is still very good. We have 52 million shares outstanding uh, and we have about 3 million cash. But on top of that, we also have a partnership with Jogmec. And Jogmec is a really great partner to have because they are earning into half of the portfolio and basically uh, taking on you know, sole funding for of these exploration programs. So that's a tremendously valuable opportunity for shareholders because uh, we're not the only ones funding that exploration activity. We have a partner funding that as well. Right, and so you still to this point, you have a low market cap, but you have a lot of money going into the ground. Let's talk about where you're working right now and what kind of results you might have that could potentially really drive the share price. Absolutely. So uh, in terms of the second half of 2017, our focus is two uh, drill programs. Essentially, we are focused right now on drilling the Borsco project. This is directly west of the Bohr mine, and it's about uh, northwest of the Chukaru Peki deposit, which is currently owned by Nevson and Freeport. So at Borsco, uh, we made the announcement in February of this year that we had intersected an alteration system. It was a blind target based on geophysics and structure interpretation and what was really interesting is that it was a very you know uh, large alteration system and so uh, because it we really intersected it at one point what we're doing now with this next program in uh, the second half of this year which is 3,000 meters is to step out to the north the south the east and the west in order to vector in as to where we are in that alteration system because as we know from other deposits in this region that these alteration systems that's where you know mineral occurrences uh, occur and um, from our point of view because it's blind you really do need to vector into where you are you know you're not drilling from surface observation you're really drilling 500 meters below surface and trying to orientate where you are in that system so really exciting if one of those holes intersects uh, a, a large mineralization which would be wonderful but at the same time really the purpose of that program is to vector it vector into where specifically we are in the system. So that's exciting. Um, the second program is at Jeleznik, so that's about 4,000 meters. That's a, a, a system that we've identified on surface. So it's uh, basically two porphyry centers, uh, the west zone and the east zone. And basically what we're seeing there is lower grade but larger tonnage style mineralization. And so the idea with this next program, which is phase three, is to drill on fences and try and identify an economic envelope of mineralization within those two zones. So that'll be this 4,000 meters of drilling that we're doing there. So uh, as a shareholder, you have really two opportunities. It's not just one opportunity two opportunities that are being funded by our partner, Jogmec. You have an opportunity for a lower grade but large tonnage style deposit uh, versus Borsco, which is most likely going to be a lower tonnage but higher grade scenario if we use comparables like the Bohr's high sulfidation system or Chukarupaki's high sulfidation system. So two really unique um, opportunities. And on on top of that, you still get also Mandoro's uh, exploration activity, which is the southern half of the, of the belt.
Okay, Teo, when can we expect results from these two programs? I mean, maybe just give us a rough timeline so investors out there can mm -hmm. uh, understand when these catalysts might be coming to fruition. Absolutely. So um, the Borskal program has started already. Uh, and so we're expecting probably around November, December uh, to complete that program because it is with one rig, uh, whereas the Zelesnik program will have two rigs. So actually, it's, it's going to be starting this month and it'll probably end up completing around the same time because we do have two rigs there. So really what you're looking at is around that November, December time frame for results. And as we close, can you tell us uh, your trading symbols and also how investors out there can contact you and your investor relations and follow the work that you guys are doing? Absolutely. Anyone can contact us at info at or uh, call us uh, based on our number that's on our website. Uh, our website is mandoro.com. And um, in terms of our symbol, it's MUN on the TSX Venture Exchange. Uh, we're trading at around you know, 10 million market cap. We have about 3 million cash, so an enterprise value of around 7 million. And uh, our share price is trading at around 19 cents, uh, which it has been for, for you know, the last 30, 60, and 90 day volume weighted average. So uh, I think it's an interesting time during this uh, drilling activity to, uh, to consider Mandoro. Okay, thank you so much, Teo. Absolutely.